Welcome to this presentation on how we're evolving the UNESCO IOC OceanVest practices system to meet the needs and also the opportunities of the ocean digital ecosystem that's rapidly emerging around us. The aim of the OBPS is to help people converge their methodologies into best practices that suit specific contexts and needs as they arrive. We're indexing a large amount of documents and other content in a sustained repository to support an ever-growing community of users. The system is centered on a long-term repository that's run by the IODE of UNESCO. Participating organizations, programs, even individuals can submit their methodological material into this repository. We then have a stack of technology which we use to verify that content as much as we can, and then deliver services to users who also have a role in shaping and helping us co-design the system. There's a lot more background available in the 2018 edition of IMDIS, so I won't go into too much detail here as the technological foundation is largely the same. However, what I will focus on is how we're going to integrate the OBPS into the emerging ocean digital ecosystem. A digital ecosystem is a socio-technical system, and we take that really seriously. Part of this is the technology that comes from software and hardware, and the rest is really connected to networks of trust with a very diverse community of users and developers. And those properties you see on the screen about being distributed, adaptive, organic in a sense, are also very important to the way that we're designing our technology, because we recognize that we will have to interoperate with a broad range of existing and emerging platforms, partners, and new users. There will be more about the UNESCO side of the emerging ocean digital ecosystem in Lucy Scott's talk on the Ocean Info Hub project, and the underlying ocean data and information systems architecture of interoperability. But as you'll see, the Ocean Best Practices system is featured in that. And largely, this relationship between OTIS and the Ocean Best Practices system is what's helping us shape a new strategy forward. At the very basis of the OBPS's strategy is that the content it holds, the methodological media, that itself needs to be fair, regardless of whether the system has fair technologies operating around it. The records themselves, of course, must have dereferenceable IRIs, and the metadata on those records must be very rich, and at least, at the very least, semantically interoperable, which is already a challenge. It's also a challenge to define what richness is to different communities. Importantly, it's not just the metadata on the records, but the stuff inside the records also has to be brought out, analyzed, and converted into interoperable metadata so that we can find links that may not be so obvious. Version control and provenance tracking are also essential features that we're developing. As a result, we're encouraging our communities to use increasingly more structured templates to submit things like methodologies, standard specification, guidelines, etc., part of which would be automatically extractable into the metadata base that's behind the system, and part of which would be targets for natural language processing and tagging with ontologies and other content. But I'll return for a moment to the digital ecosystem idea and emphasize the sociological aspect of that. That is something we take as seriously as the software because the sociological perspective informs us about where our technology should go. Now, representing those communities is a challenge in itself, and the OBPS has recently convened a task team on exploring various axes of diversity that has multiple impacts, but also on our technology stack to help us understand how different communities understand certain metadata, what kind of media they need to upload, um, how we can extend our ontologies to serve community knowledge, and also to understand how we control the content itself. The CARE principles and OCAP come into mind immediately here. There's much more to say on that, and there's a perspective out that explores these themes in more detail. In addition to that, there is a manual and guide, our first iteration of the best practice for developing best practices using the OBPS, which helps users understand why these technical steps matter and why they should bother doing them. So I'd encourage you to check that out. And there's a QR code and a citation there for you. It's very hard to conclude because there's so much more work to do and so many more dimensions to explore. But this challenge is too big for one system to do it all. We entirely anticipate that the OBPS will be one among many methodology management systems that are going to fit into the ocean digital ecosystem. It's vital that these systems interoperate, and this is why we share all of our code and documentation in our GitHub repository, and we'll continue to do so as the OBPS evolves. Um, one example of where that's already happening is on a Copartis project, where, based on the Ocean Best Practices system, 
we are roadmapping the creation of an Arlink common practices system. Again, this is just one of uh, a growing number of projects and communities that we're collaborating with, and we hope we can welcome you to our growing list of partners. Please do feel free to contact us.